heck do you start a vlog? I don't know anymore. Hello and welcome back my beautiful froggy army to another vlog. Today I just felt like vlogging plain and simple so we're just gonna vlog today. <laughs> when I was doing my makeup earlier I accidentally kind of did like more of a dark eye look than usual so I decided to fully embrace it. Let me see if I can show you the fit here. Today I'm gothy crossing. <laughs> <laughs> I say with my 2012 Imagine Dragons t-shirt and like Skechers. <laughs> I guess we're not doing color today except for the glasses. Oh, and my earrings. I have like little curvy earrings. They're so cute. My boyfriend got them for me and they are the most precious things ever. Anyways, I thought I would start in here just for like a little colorful background, but we do actually have to head out like right now. I have like maybe less than two hours to go run some errands and then I have a meeting later so we kind of got to get to it and then the fact that I just decided to like vlog also is like okay cool you're just gonna make everything take 10 times longer great Raven <laughs> don't let me forget when I come back we have a lot of packages to open just got this bad boy in the mail this is my um Build-A-Bear it is a very ginormous package I also wanted to show you my little autumn setup here. This is all like thrifted stuff that I got. Um, yeah, the camera hates this lighting, this little corner. But we got like, I found all, literally all of this stuff at Goodwill. Um, actually, no, this is a real pumpkin from the grocery store. But <laughs> aside from that, I just got like random books with like fallish colors and uh, this stuff. I found a bunch, I found like a bag of like all of this stuff. And yeah, just put it in this stuff, this cute little bowl. So yeah, that's like my little like autumn setup. I guess this will be my little section where I change it with the seasons. But yeah, this makes me so happy every time I walk past it. And since we're going all black today, I'm just gonna take this little purse that I got. Sorry, bread tag purse, <laughs> you will not be used today. I walk outside and it's still like 80 degrees in October. <sighs> I hate Florida. I need to go get groceries is the main thing. I know we need bagels and chips, but before groceries, I am in TJ Maxx. I do need more soap for the kitchen sink. Um, I'll get a cute seasonal soap. Yeah. Oh my god. I need these. Okay, I'm back in the car driving home and I just saw a turtle like I don't know if it was a turtle or a tortoise probably a turtle right <laughs> there's a turtle on the road like in the street and like cars couldn't go past it so there was a big like hold up because this turtle is in the road and I just see like three people get out of their cars and like, I'm assuming to go and get the turtle I'm like, th is this really a three-man operation? <laughs> but it was cute that people were concerned, I hope, about the turtle. Okay, I just put everything away. Um, I ended up getting this hand soap it's instead at, what's it called, DJ Maxx? Um, because it's foaming and I just, I like the foamy a little bit better. It's like bubbly. And I was complaining about not having a little drinky drink or a little snacky snack. Um, but I forgot that I got this in the mail. This is a electric lemonade like energy drink mix. I thank you, Pepper. Yeah, thank you. Wow. Uh, this is not sponsored, but they sent it to me to try. So I thought this could be my little drinky drink. You know, at least I have something. It comes with like a little shaker bottle. Just like mix it up. Ooh, it has a ball inside. And it has uh, measurements on the side. Thank you, because I don't know what 8 to 12 ounces of water is. I don't know. Got the water. Now I'm going to do a scoop. I guess that's a scoop. Hmm. It's like thicker than I thought it would be. <laughs> it tastes like lemonade, so... All right, that'll be my little drinky drink for today. Me having a professional, like, businessy meeting with <laughs> this background, it always cracks me up. People always comment on it, which I mean, how can you not, right? But it's just so, it's so funny to me. <laughs> I bring these boxes here to unpackage them and they've already been claimed. Pepper, excuse me. Pepper, sir. Pepper. Hello? Okay, I guess they're his now. I also got a tripod for my phone, finally, which is what I record my videos on. So now we don't have as shaky content because I, I have really shaky hands, especially in my vlogs. So sorry about that, but hopefully it should be better in 
some segments now, you know. All right, so first package I have is Squishmallows, and I got this from American Eagle. First off, oh my goodness, so cute. We have this little stingray. Let me get her out. So this is Aziza. She's so adorable. I love her little spots on the back. Um, yeah, she's 5-inch Aziza. I just really liked her. I think I got another Stingray. Yes, I did. Oh, that's why I picked them up. Okay, so this one is Maggie the Stingray. I actually had an 8-inch Maggie a while ago, but I traded it. So I was excited to get her back, and especially in a size that I like more, which is 5-inch. And she also has spots on the back, which I like the Aziza ones better because they're more colorful, but this is cute too. So we have these two like as a little pair. So next up, we have... Simone, I think. Yeah, this is Simone. I've been really loving the shrimpies, so I was so excited to get her. I kind of regret leaving that. I think in my last Squishmallow hunting video, I had found like a 12 inch one and I didn't get her, so I was excited to get this one. And I also have this one from the capsule, so they're like a little pair now. They're beautiful together. Or sorry, not the capsule, like the mystery blind bag. I don't know. It was from Walgreens, so yeah, she's gonna go here on the shelf. Okay, and the last one, this Squishmallow is the reason I placed an order. So I saw this one and then I was like, okay, might as well get other ones that I like as well. We have five inch Roberts, five inch Roberts. He's so cute. I love the frogs. I don't think I have that many Roberts. Yeah, I just checked. I only have the eight inch and the clip. So now I've got the five inch, which is, you know, I always like to have the different sizes, especially in the frogs. And he's one of my favorites. I just love his design and his color. So he's so cute. I love how like, oh, <laughs> I love how like little and chonky he is. He is adorable. So yeah, there's Robert. Next we have humongous boxes. They don't even, uh, they don't even fit in the frame. Okay, we'll do the easy one first. I talked about this item on a stream and I posted it on TikTok that I ordered it and it was in one of my stream highlight videos. But if you haven't seen any of that stuff, um, Build-A-Bear has a giant frog plushie. So... <laughs> Here he is. Oh my God, he's ginormous. He's ginormous. Hold on, let me like... Let me like back up the camera so we can really get a sense of scale here. So like, here's me <laughs> and here's the frog. <laughs> He's huge and he, I love him so much. So yeah, um, this is my new bestie. We got to think of a name. So drop name suggestions in the comments and I want to dress him up like in my clothes. I want to put like my merch on him, like my shirts and hoodies. So yeah, and then maybe, I don't know why I'm caressing him like this, okay. And uh, maybe like crochet him some clothes or something like that. That could be fun. And he has like a giant little Build-A-Bear paw pad thing. So cute. This next box is more interesting, I would say. Oh wait, let me get you a little closer. Why are you so far away? This is stuff that I won like in an auction. It's a bunch of like Hello Kitty things. And to be honest, I, don't really remember what's in here. <laughs> um, it's been sitting like at my front door for like a week and it took a while to ship to me. So I know there was something specific I wanted out of this, but I can't remember what it is. So this will be a new discovery for both of us. The shipping I did not realize was very high until after I already won the auction. So this was kind of a lot, but oh my goodness. <gasps> This is so much cute stuff. Look at this. We have this plushie, first of all. I don't know what this is. Oh, this is like a collab with like Ugly Doll. I'm assuming that's some like other plushie brand. I'm not quite sure, but I'm going to give this to my sister because, you know, as you can tell, I prefer colorful things. But yeah, this is just a little bonus and that'll go to my sister. But the main stuff that I was looking at was this other, these other things in here. So first we have this girl. Um, I don't really know what she... Okay, she lights up. Is she a disco ball? <laughs> what is this? <laughs> but she'll be cute for display. She is not... I don't know what this is. Maybe if I turn off the lights, it'll be better. I don't know. We'll play with this later. Um, the next thing is this. I don't know what this is either. 
Ether. Is this an alarm? I think that's an alarm clock slash clock. Yeah, it's got like dials back here, hour, minute. It also has like radio. Like, I don't know what this girl is. She has so many things. There's like this at the top. Okay, I'm gonna have to put like plug her in and play around. What the heck is going on? This comes out. Ah! <laughs> this was the item that I wanted so badly. This Hello Kitty clock. Look, it's so precious. Like the little flowers, the color. She's sitting on the grass. Absolutely beautiful. Wait, this has a nightlight too? Oh my god, wait, these are actually way cooler than I thought. There's a bunch of controls back here. Um, alarm, time, minute, hour, nightlight, on and off, alarm, on and off. And I love that two of them plug in so I don't have to like deal with batteries, even though there's a compartment here for batteries, so... Maybe that's for the lights. I don't know. Anyway, that's what I got. Um, I'm going to clean these things up and like mess around with them. And then I'll probably show you a little bit later on what they do exactly. <laughs> I'll have to like maybe look them up, see if I can find any info. If you know anything, let me know. Um, but yeah, I'm very excited about those things. I'm going to go finish dinner and yeah, I'll just I'll check in with you later. My very quick, um, I want actual food dinner on a paper plate. It looks kind of sad, but it tastes perfectly mediocre. So I'm playing around with the Hello Kitties and I can't seem to really figure this one out. Um, I figured out that it projects the time, which is pretty cool. And I was able to set the time of the projector correctly, but I can't seem to figure out how to set this time correctly. And there's like a bunch of buttons back here and I don't really know what they do. Press it, it's like 87.5, like what does that mean? Is that a radio station? And then I'm assuming this is the alarm, because I think it's an- this is mainly an alarm clock, it also has a snooze button. Kind of sucks that I can't figure out the time, I really wanted to figure that out, but it's kind of cool that it projects it. I like the little, like, Hello Kitty, if you can tell. It makes, like, a little Hello Kitty, that's so cute. Okay, now I just opened up this one. I was able to get the time, uh, set, so, like, that works, but there's, like, a nightlight option. I don't know where it is. Somewhere. There's, like, a nightlight option. And that wasn't working, so I was like, okay, it has like a battery opening thingy. Tell me why this thing takes a 9 volt battery? Hello? <laughs> like, I don't understand why this needs a 9 volt battery and to be like plugged in. Okay. Anyway, um, for this one, like, it lights up, but like barely. So this just takes AAA, so I'm just gonna try replacing these. Maybe they're just old. Oh yeah, that's way better. <gasps> Cute. Oh. Oh? Oh my goodness, it like changes. <gasps> That's so cool. Oh no, where'd you go? <laughs> Please come back. Does, do you just press it once and then it like cycles and then dies? This is very interesting. I don't know what the point of this is. I guess just like a little light. Yeah, I guess it just does that. That would be so cool if it's like stayed on constantly, you know? I don't really know where I want to put all of this stuff. I've got Hello Kitty thing right here. I have that little caddy. I have like this, but I can't really fit all of them. Um, I guess here we'll do for now, and I'll probably move freaking this stupid gummy bear thing somewhere else. This is so cool, I love it. Oh my goodness, so sick. So yeah, I guess I'll need a nine volt for this bad boy. I don't, I genuinely don't think we have any. I also need to clean her a little bit, see if we can get some of that stuff off, but. Yeah, these can go like down here. This will be so cute. Just like imagine it like arranged nicely. Cute. Currently my room is um somewhat of a disaster area. So, <laughs> oh my goodness. He looks like I just like murdered him. <laughs> Hello? Pepper? Oh, thank you. Oh my goodness. You're so sweet. It's because I forgot to feed them. Oh, okay, so I was about to get started cleaning, but I also found some more things that I bought at Goodwill the other day. Um, I found <laughs> another one of these. I already have one up on the yellow shelf, but I found another one. So I was like, okay, it was meant to be. It was four bucks, which honestly I think is too expensive for a stupid jar. Like it's a jar, $1, $2. I have been on the hunt for like super cool like picture frames and I found this. Look at this. It's so cool. Like you can like touch everything. I need to clean it a little bit. It's a little bit dusty, but I thought this was so cute. And then last thing I got were these also picture frames. I think they're attached. Oh, they're not attached. Cute. Yeah, just like little like cutesy quirky picture frames. Ok, 
Okay, my phone died while I was recording, but I managed to at least just pick up this general area. There's still a mess behind the chair, but this is how she's looking. I love the froggy. I love him so much. Oh my goodness, he's so cute. It's already like 10.30 almost. I think I'm just going to edit for the rest of the night. I've kind of been slacking on my editing. <laughs> So that was the end of my vlog that day, but another day here, I went to Five Below trying to get that Halloween frog witch squishmallow. I did not find it, but they were pretty stocked on the other ones that no one wanted, I guess. And they had like one bin full of like, I think this is two different squads in here, I want to say. We have some fall ones and we have like the squad with the frog. I hadn't seen the rainbow belly frog before, so I was like, oh, cool, fun. Nice to see you. And then, of course, I had to check out the little Hello Kitty section. I finally found more of these danglers. I can never freaking find them i only have like one of them so i bought three and i found these cute little notebooks that i love so much i love the little design but i was like no those are gonna get covered in cat fur then i've been on the hunt for this specific hello kitty t-shirt finally found it so happy i went to a random store that was kind of like a tj maxx kind of thing and they had that one unicorn squishmallow in this very creepy frog toilet i just thought you needed to see that and then i think this is actually tj maxx they only had this one valentine's day lanaya uh, squishmallow her poor tag was was ripped that was so unfortunate then i went to a new thrift store and oh my goodness i regret not getting this napkin holder so much it was so cute cute little like poo and piglet figurine i thought this was very interesting i was like what clock Mac macaroon clock what this is like creamer ladybug thing this is so cute if i drink coffee i would definitely take that this was giving me five nights of freddy's vibes with the bear <laughs> <laughs> and I really liked this little jewelry thingy. I kind of wanted to get it, but I already have one that I don't even use, so I left it. And then they had an absolutely massive plushie section. I was literally digging in there for like half an hour. I found so many Build-A-Bears. Even this guy's a Build-A-Bear. He must be like a really old one because he has the tag, but he doesn't look like a traditional Build-A-Bear, you know? Uh, here's another one that I found. I was literally finding them like back to back. Like he was pretty cute. This dog was also a Build-A-Bear. I was like, what? Very interesting finds. So yeah, then I found this rainbow one and you know that I had to pick it up because I already have like a Crayola rainbow Build-A-Bear. So I was like, oh yeah, you're coming home with me. Then I found this one, another Build-A-Bear. Like I'm telling you, there were so many and there was more that I didn't even record because I was like, I'm showing too many. <laughs> then I stopped at the dollar store just for like a couple things. I found this fun blue mascara, a little mirror, and I needed some little spoolies. And I just wanted to show you how like stocked this one is. This was like the biggest Dollar Tree I've ever been to. What the heck? I found some Hello Kitty toothbrushes just in case you need some. And then I also stopped at a Walgreens and found some Halloween squish. They had some Halloween flips and apparently this is a Walgreens exclusive rare squish. No, no, I refuse to accept this rare label. Like absolutely not. They had some other ones, including this uh, rainbow belly king frog that I had never seen before and even a giant stackable. So I was like, okay, cool. Then after I came home, I started doing some laundry. So yeah, that's pretty much the end of this day where I went out, but I hope you enjoyed it. And I just wanted to say, if you're still watching this vlog, thank you so much. I really, I really appreciate you. Like, I know I do a lot of Animal Crossing stuff, and that's been my whole thing, you know, Animal Crossing. But at least specifically this month, I've been posting a lot of not Animal Crossing. Um, I think a lot of us are burnt out on Animal Crossing, like including me. I can't really deny it. So my tactic to deal with Animal Crossing burnout is literally to not force myself to play it. If I force myself to play it, then it's not going to end well for any of us. So the way that I kind of deal with it is just posting other content on the channel. So if you still enjoy that content and you still watch that content, like my vlogs or playing other games or squishmallow videos like thank you so much i really i really appreciate it because that just makes me i don't know it makes me feel really happy that you watch that stuff anyway like you're watching it for me instead of just like you just want to see me do the animal crossing things you just want to see tom nook or whatever so a big shout out to you if you're still watching thanks and i definitely do still try to upload an animal crossing video at least once a week when i do stuff like this like it may not be me doing a build but maybe it's like dream islands or maybe it's it's like something off, I don't know, Animal Crossing related. Hopefully this burnout doesn't last for very long and I can get back into it. But yeah, just wanted to give a huge thank you, you know, for all of you who actually watch and enjoy my vlogs and Squishmallow videos and stuff. And just thanks for your patience while I get slightly burnt out on Animal Crossing and don't want to play. <laughs> okay, so as you guys may or may not know, I have a lot of Squishvilles, very tiny Squishmallows, and he 
takes them and plays with them and and like they're literally lost like right now i was just looking in my room there's six in my room and i have like at least 20 of them and i've been like they have to be somewhere they're just he loses them i don't know where they went and i just had the idea right now to look under the couch <laughs> and you're not gonna believe this <laughs> i found all of them <laughs> like they're all here this is where they've been disappearing to Oh my goodness, and there's like one of my little crochet things and a ball of yarn. Oh my goodness, and my, my phone battery is too low to use the flash anymore, but oh my goodness, I'm gonna get them out, hold on. Uh, yeah, along with a hair tie, and this was not a ball of yarn. Um, I'm pretty sure this is part of like some fall decor like filler stuff that I have, so yep. Um, they are all absolutely filthy and disgusting, so that's great. Hey, no, 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 this is not a... This is not a, a little playtime for you guys. <laughs> um, so yeah, found them. And that's so funny because he was just playing with this one the other day. And like that quick, it just disappeared under the couch in here. Hey, it's another day. I've been terrible th about this whole vlogging thing, but I just finished my stream. I've done my fourth villager hunt. No, third? I can't remember. I've already lost track. Third villager hunt, I think, for Tad. I'm trying to get him from my farm for island. I just have not been getting him. It's ridiculous. But I thought I would block. I just dropped that. I thought I would film a little bit today because I have been really bad about it. Um, today I'm literally gonna go cook dinner right now, and then I have some more packages. I got some more packages, so I figured I could unbox some more stuff. I don't know if you find that interesting, but yeah. Making my rice. Sorry if you hear Pepper in the back. He's crunching. But I just added a cup of water, and now I'm gonna do a teaspoon of salt. Got it all over the stove. I'm gonna wait for that to boil. And then I'm going to get the chicken ready. I think I'm going to put this on mine. This was left over from one of my HelloFresh uh, boxes. So I thought I could just put that on the chicken. It might be good, like after it's cooked. And then nothing too fancy. I just do salt, pepper, garlic powder, paprika on each of them. Sometimes I do chili powder, but I don't have any today. So I'll just do that on both sides. I just put these in the air fryer, honestly. I forgot to do like spray oil on the bottom but i'll usually do that um and then i just let her rip also since the hurricane we had to literally throw out everything and i haven't bought any vegetables and our fridge is looking very sad oh wait i forgot i had these Ooh, should i do these instead of rice i might do these instead of rice while everything's cooking if you don't mind i kind of want to do a little unboxing because i have a box that's been sitting here but i have a big ulta box I have never ordered from Ulta before, um, I very rarely even go there. By the way, this box is on top of my trash can right now. <laughs> I don't really go to beauty stores, I mostly buy all of my makeup and stuff from like CVS <laughs> or Walgreens. I'm a drugstore makeup kind of gal, but I recently saw a TikTok about like maximizing Ulta freebies and then I had some coupons and there was a really good freebie that popped up so i was like okay let me do like a big order like one big order um this was the main thing so it was if you spend 80 dollars you got a 17 piece free set of like samples so we got stuff like eye patches right or eye gel thingies brightening facial scrub i think this is mascara I don't know. Oh, well, this this brand, I wanted to try this brand, Glow Tonic, 2% retinol, little freebie. Like, there's so much in here. I got this all for free. Lip treatment, I need that. My lips are so crusty. So all of that, plus like the bag was free because I spent, well, I didn't spend 80, but you'll see it. So when you spent a certain amount on Maybelline, I got Sky High and uh, powder. You got a free, free mascara. And then I got these hair clippies for like when I do my makeup to put my hair back. So I paid for those. So when you spend a certain amount on dry bar, then you've got this free liquid glass smoothing treatment and this dry shampoo for free. So I got this for free. I think there's another package coming because I got the hair clips and I also got like the full size version of this. So yeah, that's in another shipment. When you spent a certain amount on this like micellar water stuff, then you also got a little freebie so there's the little freebie and then like there's this hand sanitizer gel that i got for free for also spending a certain amount on like ulta beauty long story short i think i have another box with three more things i got some bath bombs and like some hand soaps also 
and I just got like a whole bunch of stuff for free and then I had like a $15 off coupon so I spent like it was more closer to like $70 which is still kind of a lot but a lot of this stuff is I mean like I have so much stuff and like I needed a new one of these because I use it all the time I was really looking for a powder like I use hand cream all the time so like Oh yeah, I use like these all the time and like hand soap, of course. So it's stuff that I actually use. Here's how the chicken is looking. I just gotta flip, ah, I just gotta flip this one. Don't look at my air fryer, it's dirty, okay? And then for these potatoes, it literally tells you to smash them with oven mitts. I only have one oven mitt and this. So we're just gonna smash as best as I can. Ooh, I feel them getting crushed. Okay. This is kind of hard, actually. It smells really good, though. <laughs> this is how you make mashed potatoes, people. Ooh, they're smashed for sure. And chicken is done. Had to go on a separate plate because it's humongous. I don't know why the chicken breasts were so big in this package and the plate was full of rice and potatoes, but yeah. That's the meal, I'm gonna go eat now. Hey, okay, just finished dinner. It was very good. It was so much food, like I couldn't even finish that. But I have another package. This is the last one. Oops, sorry. <laughs> this is the last one, I promise. So, as you guys may or may not have seen some of my videos, I have this beautiful, gorgeous plushie from Tiny Headed Kingdom. Absolutely love him so much. This is the Pip plushie and I, they feel like really similar to all of my squishmallows back here they're so soft and i just love how goofy they are so i have this one already but as you know me and my collective personality i just i had to get more i had to so this is honey thunder little unicorn so cute we got little gold hooves we have tiny little head and we have a little gold unicorn horn and she also has a cute little tail cute so now i have them both they're iconic i absolutely love them these are like the bigger sizes i believe these are 15 inch but they also have tiny sizes and i was gonna get the tiny one of pip but it was sold out when i was looking so i'm gonna wait for that to come back in stock but i got a little baby honey thunder oh you got a little fuzzy there she's so cute i'm literally so obsessed I'm so like I'm obsessed. So these are seven inches and they're just so cute and precious. I I am so obsessed. I love it so much. So we got the big version and we have the tiny version, both with tiny heads. So yeah, I just wanted to show you that I got these and I also have a referral code, referral link, coupon code for you if you would like to grab one and get 10% off. Use my link in the description or code froggy for 10% off thank you so much anyways I think I'm gonna edit and stuff for the rest of the night but I have a lot of like random like admin stuff to do like I gotta figure out a stream setup because I'm good like doing a sponsored stream so I have to figure out like stuff for that like how to connect my phone and everything and I just have like a couple videos to finish up like I'm kind of behind on editing because I keep procrastinating so yeah I'll check in with you later or I will see you in the next one